Go. Now they sentenced me, as I told you before, uh, for 30 days bread and water. Well, all you're supposed to get to eat is bread and water. And every third day they'd take you to the dining hall, but you couldn't eat nothing because your stomach was sunk so much. But on the meantime, when the uh, reason I didn't eat much right there is my sergeant, the sergeant that was bringing me up my bread, he's supposed to bring day old bread, not fresh, not warm, or anything of the nature. He would sneak a little bit on that. He would bring me up a hot loaf of bread right out of the oven, reach in and take the inside out and throw a handful of roast beef in there. And I said, when I bit down into that, I said, oh boy, how good that tastes. And that was another thing that helped me survive the bread and water without any complaint at all. I had my salt shaker, a pitcher of water, and a loaf of bread every day. With roast beef? With no, no, I just had the roast beef about one time out of the 30. He couldn't, oh. he couldn't do that every day. Because if he did, he'd have let it call him, and he'd have been put right in there with me. Because he or nobody else was allowed to talk to me. Even I had a private guard right there. And he had to take me to the shower. And that's the only place I could go. And I took I don't know how many showers every day. Just to get her out of my uh, confinement. And But that guard had to go with me in our shower room. But a little room over here was a shower. Another big room over here where we changed clothes. That's where my guard had to sit. He was between me and the door. So I couldn't have got out. So I wasn't trying to get out anyway. I just wanted to do my thing and then become a real Marine. And that's what I did. I fought on Saipan, Tin In, and Iwo Jima. And I'm back home now, old man, and having a great time in life. And it's just wonderful. Just thank God that I'm still here. Were you there for Iwo Jima when they put the flag up? I saw the first flag raised, yes. But not the second one. The second one was planned and took pictures of it that you see now on everything. It's a piece of history, and it's wonderful. But the first flag was just a little bitty flag that they had, and they put on a piece of pipe on top of Mount Suribachi. And when they got that up there, we were happy, because we'd already cut the island in half and started north and had these people right down at our backs shooting at us. But the guys, the Marines, went up to take that mountain, that volcano, stopped them right quick, and we had them out of our way, we saw that flag raised. A lot of the guys even stopped for a moment and yelled, <laughs> fired the weapons up in the air. But uh, that I didn't do that because I was too busy trying to take care of everything else. But that's the way it goes when you're in war. War is terrible, I don't care where it is. But if you have to do it, you have to do it. So go with it and do all you can to keep yourself and all of the men, particularly those that you're responsible for, safe if you possibly can. Thank you very much again, and may God bless you and God bless America.